Beat my record. Forget something? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah. I haven't been coming to lectures much. Mm. Not really feeling it. Oh, right. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about? Holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of a pool. One of these days I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? It's the only place I get any peace. Oh, that's... I should be getting home. Look, it's just... So, I had a friend in middle school. She was like, infuriatingly perfect. Top of the class, captain of the soccer team. And one day, we're all on this field trip, and boom, she disappears, gone. We even... I just know she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen. Did you just see that? The guy in the hoodie? I don't see anyone. But the Lord works in mysterious ways. I talked to Mima. What? When you were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any... No, no, I just wanted to hear her voice. Are you sure you're up for this? Huh? Hiking over the border? <laughs> I'll manage. I know it's the best way to avoid the police. I'll feel better in the woods. I spend most of my time there already. Don't you ever get lonely out there? Not really. Why? Freedom of it? Back home, someone's always telling me what to do. <laughs> Build a deck. Help with the roof. Out in the woods. My house. My rules. That does sound nice. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's House, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Why'd you do that? That's the thing from back home.
I don't like the news. It always makes the world sound bad. It's not the world. Just the people in it. Sorry, that was dark. Stolen car. Morning, you two. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Were you there? No, sir. We're just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? We're in Salt Lake City. We're on a field trip for our, with our church. Which church is that? Uh, LDS. Mm. You know, the Book of Mormon? Uh-huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. Sure, just a sec. Where is it? Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me. Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit, he's gonna find out any second. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? We need to get out of here. Look, I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right, I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. Go on, get out of here. Hey, Dad. How's the, um, new plane? Oh, you are gonna love it. So much quieter than the old one. So, um, you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lectures coming out of your ears. I get it. <laughs> So how about your mom and I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? You know, just... busy. But my media studies professor says I'm doing great. I might be looking at a 4.0 this semester, so that's... Wow! <laughs> that's... Hey! Michelle! Zoe's got a 4.0! Honey, that's incredible news. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Zoe? Sorry, Mom. I gotta go.
Don't speak. Don't make a sound. <gasps> Seeing it? What is that? Huh. Stop looking at me. Grandpa. Zoe! I know it's late, but I, I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little, uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. It's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Uh -huh. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Uh -huh. Hey there, Zussie, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, uh... uh Maybe. I, I I don't quite remember. You don't remember because it didn't happen. <laughs> I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I I took a walk, and, uh, and I, I saw someone, and... Uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. 
Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home. Oh, God or... damn it! I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Don't you have some kind of insurance? It's his front door. He broke it. Huh? He pays for it. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. <laughs> she sounds just like your parents with that crap. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my darn because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? <gasps> Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lattes. How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmares started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually, I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. And before you ask, no. I haven't told Mom and Dad. I didn't want to worry them. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take him on someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet computer -y thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. All books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. <laughs> Grandpa, are you taking your meds? I don't like them. They make me fussy. Sure, but they wouldn't prescribe them if you didn't need them. You're gonna stand there until I take them, aren't you? Please. For me. Oh, all right. <laughs> Grandpa, are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? God. How can I be sure of something I can't remember? Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you, too. 
Shelby's right. It's getting worse. You can't let it beat you. You fought cancer. You can fight this too. That wasn't the same. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? Sounds awful. I can't even begin to. <sighs> you must think I made this whole damn mess up. Actually, someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. And then tonight at my apartment, I, I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid. Seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously, you don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles or... Or what? No, oh, it's impossible. It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me trying to remember you. Trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs> Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. I 
wish I had another layer on. It's gonna be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the two rocks of two rock once. <laughs> Don't laugh, it was hard. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Tell you a secret? I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. Here. You'd be going a lot faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. Give me your hands. Uh, teamwork. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just <laughs> going and going. How do you do it? Been doing this all my life. You've been doing it since lunch. Okay. Yeah, true. I'll get the hang of it. Ugh. My God. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert and on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Just different company. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. There. That's better. I'm glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. Vanessa? Are you there? It's me. It's Dad. Dad? What are you doing here? Do you know? Do you have any idea who you run away with? Yes, his name's Dean. Vanessa. This isn't right. How did he find us? Look, can we just talk for a few minutes? Please. We need to get up to that ridge. It's the only way. What's the point? He'll just keep following wherever I go. He thinks he can carry me home over his shoulder like I'm still a little girl. Well, fuck that. Vanessa, what are you doing? Hold your fire. Dad, you have gone too far this time. Dean and me, we're leaving for good. You can't control me anymore. You're just going to have... Who are... What are they doing? Stop it! Let me go! I'm sorry, honey. It's the only way. Under arrest on the authority of the FBI. What? 
I'll admit, he nearly gave us a slip. That ranger in the entry kiosk earned his paycheck today. Now, I already have your confession, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. Thing is, your friend Vanessa's been aiding and abetting you. She's going to juvenile corrections. Prison. At 18. Her life's over, Jay. Hear what I'm saying? What do you want? I want you. Just walk out and surrender. Go on. Your turn. Jay, listen to me. Whatever Vanessa is to you, she was my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. And the special agent here, he says the only way she'll get a deal is if she testifies against you. Which can't happen unless you give yourself up. So please, do the right thing. For her. Let's go, let's go! Don't do it, kid. You'll never make it. If I live, you won't find me again. If you jump, you die. Even with a capital conviction, you could live 15 years or more just on appeals. You know how birds learn to fly? Their moms push them out of the nest. And once they're falling, they got no choice. Contact Border Patrol. Let me know when they find his corpse. Where is he? Did he... He's gone. Probably dead. Daddy, please. Tell them to let me go. It's over. Your plan didn't work. Our deal was she goes free once he's in custody. And that didn't happen. Sure, this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you.
My God. Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but in my mind, you're still that scared little kid. You look older, too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. Nice view. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. I was doing pretty good at that. Until you started writing. <sighs> oh. I have a lot of questions. About your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she'd just had cubs. Lesson learned. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Tyler's on death row in Arizona. Ma pled guilty and got off easier. My pa and I sent letters a few times, but he said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped too, and that's it. And it's just me now. What about that girl you ran away with? Vanessa? I look her up sometimes. She went to Juvenile Hall for a while. But she's a... something with lawyers now. She turned out okay. You don't know that. Nobody can know if someone's okay. I guess you're right. Just... I hope she's happy. She deserves it. In all these years, you've never been recognized? I had some close calls in town. But you don't really know. You just feel people looking. So now I don't go far. Library, the market, that's about it. You know, the world thought you were dead after you jumped off that cliff. I almost was. I must have blacked out when I hit the water. But I don't remember swimming to shore. So, why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came. In person. Why? I keep seeing your face. And my dreams. Out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye... That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it. I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out. Do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do 
is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. No, we're not. Don't kid yourself. Jay, why? Why'd you start writing me? I told you. There's a lot I never got to talk about. I know. But why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. All these years later, you'd think I'd be able to move on, but I never have. You must hate me after everything my family did to you. Innocent people were killed that night. People like Joyce. How many others died too? I've seen therapists, taken medication, and then your letters started coming. And... Zoe, nothing I say will change what happened. If I tell you I was young, I was stupid, I didn't realize how sick my family was, doesn't matter. Fact is, I was 18. I should have known better, but I didn't, and I'm sorry. You can't just... It isn't that easy. I know, but you know what? I've had 14 years. If what you need is to see me locked up, there's a signal booster on the roof. Call the cops. I won't run. I might even be grateful. Come on, Roosevelt. Let's take a walk. Wait. Your family did a lot of fucked up things that night. But I know it wasn't your fault. Not really. You're not that teenage kid. And I am not that little girl. Whoever it is she used to hate, it's not you. This is not how I thought this would go. What did you imagine? That I'd be... I don't know... slaying a demon? I should get going... before the next bus comes. No more letters, okay? I need to be done with this. I understand. Take care of yourself. <laughs> The thing about shadows is, you can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Why are some of us able to grow and change?
even when clouds have blocked out the sun. Why do some of us find ways to endure? while others just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe. Uh... It's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, does dream all of it. I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and make this easier on yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two hours. Ah! Ah!